Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make cool and easy 3D camera transition effect in After Effects. So here I have 4 of my clips I will be making that effect in the song. That transition looks better if you sync it with the song beats, and today I will show you how to do it properly. Before we begin with the effects, I will mark the beat drops first, that will make us easy to see the beats and control the transitions. Press L twice on your keyboard to open waveform and then go to every beat and mark them. To mark, press asterisk button on a keyboard. Once you are done marking the beats, we will need to freeze the videos to use them as an image. So make sure to find the best frame, then right click on your clip, go to time and select freeze frame. Let's freeze all other layers as well, but do not freeze the very first clip yet. So here I have frozen my three clips and the first one is the video and we should keep it as video, because we are going to make a transition from the clip to images. But also we need an image of that clip as well, so make sure to scroll to the very end of that first clip and duplicate it. Then right click on duplicated one, go to time and select freeze frame. I will rename all froze layers in order, so this one is first image and I will name it first, and then keep renaming them in order. Now let's move first image forward. It should be right after the actual clip like that. Then make sure to overlap all other images like that. Now make all image layers long something like this, we will be able to cut the layers later. In case you want to make a loop transition, make sure to freeze the first frame from your main clip. Let's duplicate it first and then make sure you are at the very beginning of it, then go to time and select freeze frame. Let's move it above first image and then I will rename it to loop image and then overlap it as well. Also make it long like other image layers. Since we are making a loop transition, it will be better to move loop image layer below other image layers like that. Now let's select the original clip and move it below all image layers and let's rename it to main clip. And now we are ready to create 3D transition. First of all let's open composition settings. Press Ctrl plus K on your keyboard and here make sure to make your composition size larger. I will make it 20,000 by 20,000 and hit OK. That will allow us to see the images really tiny and we can now drag them randomly on other sides. I won't touch first image, and let's begin with the second image, let's move it somewhere down here. Now grab third image and move it further like that. Then select fourth image and do the same. Finally select loop image and drag it down as well. Once you are done, press Ctrl plus K again and change composition to normal size, in my case it was 1080p vertical. Now let's create new camera layer. I will name it transition and then hit OK. Let's cut it and match image layers length and then move it above all image layers. Now highlight all image layers and enable 3D on them. If you play back the video, nothing happens yet, until we do some easy magic here. Make sure to scroll to the very beginning of transition camera layer and then press A on a keyboard, then hold shift and press P. Click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons to create keyframes and then slightly scroll forward. Now let's grab a dolly cursor tool from camera tools here, or you can also press C on a keyboard to change camera tools, so once you grab dolly cursor tool, we can zoom out like that. Now let's scroll forward again, but this time go further than the beat mark here, I mean don't stop at a marked beat drop, go further, I will explain it why, but a bit later when we will be in a graph editor and making a smooth curve. So make sure you are further from the marker, and then change camera tool to a pan cursor tool, press C on a keyboard until you see it, or you can select it from here. Now let's move the camera to the next image. We can also grab a dolly cursor tool and maybe zoom out just a little bit. Once you are happy with it, scroll forward again and this time as well go further from the beat drop marker and then move the camera to another image. Let's zoom in slightly and once you are satisfied with it, scroll forward again and simply do the same steps. In my case this is my last image, once you get to your last one, make sure to zoom in to fit the screen. In my case it looks fine and since I have no more images to animate, I will cut my camera and all image layers there. And note, the more images you will use, the better this effect will look. Now let's select all keyframes and hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph, and the most fun begins right here. The first curve should be harsh like that, cause we need a quick transition from the first clip to an image. Let me show you first transition. Looks smooth and nice. So the rest curve should be different and now let me explain you how to make the transition synced with the song. Let's close graph editor first and then make sure to scroll to the beat drop and stop there. Now go back to graph editor and here we can see where the beat drop is, cause I have stopped right there, now make sure to make a curve like that.
That curve means that the transition will now speed up right where the beat drop is. Let's close graph editor and then scroll to the next beat drop. Then go to graph editor and make the same curve. Let's do the same thing till the end. Once we are done, we can check the transition, but first let's close graph editor and then enable motion blur on all image layers. And we are done, transition is synced right with the song and it looks so cool. Just make sure to use more images, or even you can use videos and make it longer and make cool edit with this simple 3D camera transition. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.